Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS TFL programming. So in this video, we will take a look at the lesson which is discussing about summary of categorical variables with two variables as input. The first one is sex and the second one is race. So we have seen in the previous video wherein we have generated a summary for the categorical variable for only one variable which was sex. So as I, I mentioned that the code used in the previous lesson which was L301 is very much scalable and can be reused if there is more than one categorical variable as well. In this video we will see how we can make use of the code which we have written for L301 and with minimal updates how we can generate the table which has both sex and race. So here we are trying to summarize the uh, sex variable in terms of male, female and missing and race with values of Asian, black or African American, white not reported and missing. So here the statistics that are presented are the same as in the previous video. We are presenting small n and percentage. Small n is the number of subjects with a particular level in a analysis variable. So percentage is the value which is divided small n divided by capital N. Capital N is nothing but the number of subjects available in a particular treatment. So um, similar to the previous videos here we are trying to summarize the each individual dose level which are as part of the study and a total column. And this table is based on the same design which we were seeing so far, a parallel arm design. And this is based on full analysis set and planned treatment arm would be used for our dose level grouping. Now let us take a look at the input data for this lesson. We will be using our ADSL data set as input for this lesson as well. So we have record data for five subjects, 1001 to 1006 with 1005 being missing and uh, the analysis variables here are A6 and A race. So if we see out of the five records there is one record with a missing value in A6 variable and out of the five records uh, there is a record with missing value in A race variable as well and the values present in data for a race variable are Asian, black or African American, white not reported. And so whenever a race is missing, we are being asked to present it as missing as per the TFL shell layout. And we also have data only for dose level one and dose level three in the data. But for the shell, we had all the three possible treatment dose levels, which are as part of the study. So we need to display dose level 2 as well along with zero counts wherever applicable. We will now move to the program section. So here uh, I will only explicitly cover the sections which needed update when compared to the L301 video. So if you are watching this video first, I suggest you to watch, go and watch L301 video first to have the complete explanation of the code. So, but before that, let's go to the programming flow tab and try to see what are the major steps that are needed in order to generate the summary for categorical variables. The first step is to read or fetch the input data. And then if we have any filter conditions, then we'll apply on the input data set. And then as we need the total column along with the individual total uh, individual treatment columns which are present in the study. So we are replicating the rows to account for the subjects under total column. So we have used explicit output statements to do that. And then we have obtained the treatment totals into a data set and we also created macro variables. So out of this major step, there were few sub steps which were involved in. We created a dummy data set containing a row for each treatment using a do loop. So because we have seen that in the data, we only have treatments one and three, but as per the study design, we also are expecting dose level two, but which is not present in our example data. So we need to create a dummy row for two as well. So we do not know whether treatment one will be missing or one, two will be missing or three will be missing, but we will know how many number of treatments are possible in the study. So we'll create a dummy data set containing each possible treatment at study level. 
and then we get the treatment totals based on actual data for this purpose we can use different procedures but in this example code we have used proc freeze proc freak to obtain the number of subjects available in each treatment so this is based on actual data so we merge the actual data to the dummy data set and then created the treatment total as zero for the treatments which are present only in dummy data but absent in the actual data and then we created macro variables to hold the treatment totals so that we can present it in the report header so we have used the approach of calls input x in the data step to create these macro variables and then we created some utility variables for smooth processing in the downstream code we have created a variable called group and then we created a variable called statistic and we also created an order variable for each of the level present in that variable we will extensively see uh, what is the change that we are making in this section so this is one section of code where we need to add additional piece of code to handle the race level statistics when compared to the previously generated sex level statistics only and then we obtained the cons for categorical variable so here we will be using this step to obtain the cons for sex and race as well in this lesson and then we created a dummy data set containing a row for each level and treatment so we have seen that in some cases in uh, you know, for some of the treatments male was only present and female was absent so in order to have the full template created we created dummy rows and then we replicated that each level for each treatment present in the dummy data set using a do loop with output statement and then we merged the dummy counts with actual counts and then calculated percentages in order to calculate percentages we used the treatment total data set and merged it into the count data set and then created the percentage variable and concatenated the count and percentage variable into a single variable and then uh, till this processing till the ninth step so the treatments values are up, will appear as rows so as we need the treatment values to appear as columns what we do is we restructure the data set such that treatment appear treatment values appear as columns so we used proc transpose for this and then we created a final data set to keep only the required variables and then we used proc report to write the or to generate the report so now let us go to the individual the complete detailed program and then we'll quickly go through what we have done we have filtered here the required subset of subjects and then we replicated the rows uh, so that the subject can be accounted under total column and then we created this dummy data set to create a row for each possible treatment in the study and then we obtained the treatment totals using proc freak based on actual data and then we merge the dummy treatment totals to the actual treatment totals and then we have set the value of treatment total to zero if a record is present only in dummy trt but not in the actual data and then we created macro variables using the concept of calls input x and then we created these utility variables for smooth processing in the downstream so in the previous code we only had this section so where we had created a group variable and assigned a value of 1 to it and then created this statistic variable and assigned the value of asx when it is not missing and assigned a text of missing to the statistic variable when the value in asx is missing so and then what we have done here is that we have replicated the rows with the values in the statistic variable for a race in the second instance so we have created group is equal to 2 and then when we are replicating or outputting this record for group is equal to 2 in the statistic variable we are using the value from a race variable whenever the value is not missing in a race variable we have assigned that to the statistic variable otherwise we have assigned a text of missing to the statistic variable and then outputted the record and then we obtained the cons for the categorical variables both sex and race so within a single proc we will be able to do that so group treatment and statistic so group now we have differentiated sex and race using the value present in group variable so one will be 
corresponding to the sex level statistics and then 2 in group variable corresponds to the statistics from race variable and then we created this dummy data set containing a row for each level and treatment for each of the variables now in the earlier code we have only had this in the earlier lesson we have only had one variable being analyzed so we created those uh, levels of uh, we have created rows only for the levels which appear in sex variable male female and missing now what we have done here is we have also created rows for the race level values so asian black or african american white not reported and missing so in this dummy data set we'll get one row per group per statistic or level that is expected in the group variable so and then we have used this data set as input and replicated each level with for each treatment using do loop with an output statement within the loop and then we merged our dummy data set to the actual counts data set and then if a row or a level is present only in the dummy data set but not present in the actual data we are setting it to zero and then we calculated our percentages by fetching the treatment totals into the counts data set and then creating this percentage variable so based on the presentation requirement when percentage is 100 not 100 we were presenting the percentage with one decimal otherwise when it is 100 we just present it as 100 instead of 100.0 and then we also have created a piece of code which accounts for like the requirement wherein wherein we were supposed to present only the count value when the count is zero and do not display the percentage so we have concatenated count and percentage as per the requirement and then restructure the data set such that treatment become columns using proc transpose so we have transposed the count percentage variable by specifying that the treatment values have to become columns and we have transposed it and then a final data set is created to keep only the required variables and then proc report has been written to generate the report and then we have used the created macro variables to be uh, present the number of subjects in each treatment in the report using this uh, macro variables uh, values which we have already generated on the defined statements so now let us go and take a look at the intermediate data sets that were getting created out of this in this was the adsl data set which is our input data set we had and then we filtered for fasfl is equal to y and then we replicated the rows for total treatment or total column count so for each subject the row got replicated for with the treatment value of 4 and treatment c of total and then we created our dummy treatment totals with a value of 1 with the values from 1 2 3 and 4 and then we fetched our actual treatment totals so which are present in data so we clearly did not have any subject with those level 2 so in this actual treatment totals we do not have a row for treatment 2 so we merged treatment totals and dummy treatment totals so that we can create this row for treatment 2 and assign a value of 0 to that treatment and then we created this ADSL 03 data set for smooth processing so what we did here is actually so we have outputted each row present in ADSL 02 twice for the first instance wherein we are calling it as group we are assigning a value present in a6 variable to the statistic variable so for example if you see for subject 1001 now under treatment 1 so on the first row where group is identified as 1 so we fetch the value from female and assign to it and on the second instance when we were outputting it with the value of group is equal to 2 what we have done is we have fetched the value from asian and then assigned it to fetch the value from a race variable and assigned it to statistic so for group is equal to 1 in the same variable now one record has become two records but 
in the first instance with group is equal to 1 it has become female and 2 for Asian and 2 clearly indicates that the statistic variable contains the uh, information related to sex uh, a race variable and then we have obtained the counts at group and treatment and statistic level so we now have the counts based on the actual data so if we now clearly see we do not have any uh, counts which are related to treatment but we need to present those numbers as zero and similarly we do not have a row for male under treatment one so but we need to present that male row in the report and display the number as zero for that purpose what we have done is we have created this dummy data set which has all the levels in each of the analysis variables which is sex and race so for the there are three possible levels for sex variable and there are one two three four and five possible levels for race variable so we have created a row for each level in these two variables and then created each of this level for each treatment so now for female if you see now we have replicated it for treatment one treatment two and then treatment three and then treatment four so we have created a row for each level and each treatment in this next step of dummy 02 and then we have merged our dummy and actual cons so that we could populate the zero cons wherever there is a wherever the data value or level is absent in the actual data so here if you see now we have a row for male under treatment one and count of zero is being created so but when if we go back and take a look at the count zero one so there was no subject we, there was no male subject in treatments one so we didn't get that row in the actual counts so that is the purpose we are creating this dummy and then merging it with actual counts and when the row is absent we are creating that zero count and similar is the case for other zero count rows and then we had to calculate our percentages for, for that purpose we need to use the number of subjects available in each treatment as denominator so we are fetching the treatment total into our counts data set by merging counts data set and treatment totals at treatment level and then we have our count and treatment total available side by side in this data set and then we calculated percentage and then created this cp variable which has the concatenation of both count and percentage values and then we restructure the data set such that the treatment values the, the treatment groups are now appearing as columns and then we created a final data set to keep only the required variables and then generated the proc report so let us go and take a look at the report that is generated so if we now see we have the all the statistics presented for both sex variable and race variable with all the levels and if you see the number of subjects available in each treatment is reported in the column header and this is coming from the macro variables which we have created using call simple text so this is how we can create a summary table when we have more than one categorical variable to be presented within the same table thank you for watching and keep learning